May the peace of the Lord be with you. Hi, I'm Minister Marty Ringer, and thank you for joining us here at St. Mark Lutheran Church for another wonderful service. First, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, birth mothers, and adopted mothers. We welcome you here to this worship service. You know, Jesus has prepared a place for each of us where there is room to spare. You are never left outside God's house. There is always plenty of room in our Father's house. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful God, we are sorry for the times when we fail you, for the times when we turn from your ways to follow our own path. Sometimes we are only concerned about our own way, our own truth, our own life. Lord, we come humbly to you today as we ask for your forgiveness, as we offer these confessions, saying together, We confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. 
We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Even though we are stubborn people, God still absolutely loves us and forgives us. Know that all of your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord as it is written in John the 14th chapter starting at the first verse down to the 14th verse. And we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. So that where I am, there you may be also, and you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him, and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the gospel of our Lord, and we say, praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, thank you as always, Lord God. Lord God, thank you for this day. Lord God, the day that we celebrate our mothers, Lord. And Lord God, even though we're in these dark times, you do tell us to fear not. And let our hearts not be troubled. So, Lord God, I ask you right now to strengthen our hearts, Lord God. Strengthen our courage, Lord God. And walk through us during these times. Now, during this moment, Lord God, minimize me and you utilize me as your instrument to speak to your people. In your holy name. Amen. So, first thing I want to say is happy Mother's Day. You know, to all of our mothers, the birth mothers and the adopted mothers, the expected mothers and the unexpected mothers. The ones that have, you know, taken on the mother role, even not even giving birth. But, you know, today is always, like I say, is the day that the Lord has made. And the scripture that we're talking about today is one of those scriptures that it kicks off. It kicks off with the encouraging words from Jesus. Saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. During this time, it is a... An interesting time to hear those words, to hear, do not let your heart be troubled. Know that Jesus is with us during these times. Now, you know, this gospel reading that we're reading that I just read, and I'll do another paraphrase for those that are online watching this to just really push fast forward through the reading. I'm going to reiterate what we were talking about uh, just to make sure we're on the same page. This is one of those times where I would say, a hard conversation for the disciples. I'm serious. This is one of those hard, 
I would even say I almost feel sorry for the disciples to a certain degree. Have you ever gotten to one of those arguments or one of those conversations that regardless of what you say, it just doesn't come out right? The response doesn't come out the way you want it to be. It seems like you're almost arguing with a, an irritated person. Because it's like Jesus comes out almost in a sense of saying, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And he said, now I wouldn't have told you that if I really didn't mean that. If I wasn't coming back for you, so I'm going to prepare a place for you. Now look, you know where I'm going. And poor little Thomas, poor little Thomas, like, uh, excuse me, observation. Jesus is going to holler at you just real quick. Uh, Lord, we, we really don't know where you're going. So we really don't know the way to get to where you're going. Because we really, we don't know. You know, a couple of months ago, I was a fisherman. You know, I ain't, I ain't that bright. You know, just, just being real. And Jesus is like, wait a minute. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can go to the Father except through me. And the next little guy, Philip, oh, Polo, Philip, like, okay. Hello, observation, Lord. Can you, like, can you show us the Father just in case we make it to him, then we know where we're at? You know, because we ain't, we ain't never really seen the Father. And Jesus, again, is like, just, just straight up. Don't you know me, Philip? You know, when somebody calls your name after they answer it, you know, that's one of those irritational things. You know, I've been married for a long time, and whenever my wife used my name in a sentence, I'm in trouble. You know, when they use my real name, even my mother, my parents, when they call me by my name, you know you're in some real trouble. Didn't I tell you to clean up your room, Marty? Okay. So when, when, when Jesus is telling his disciple, don't you know me, Philip? It's almost like, what, what have you been doing all this time? And he says, I've been among you all this time, and you're not understanding that the Father, if you see me, you see the Father. If you've met me, you've met the Father. The Father is in me. You know, it's interesting right now, during this time of Mother's Day, in a sense, with my mother. See, I was, I was raised by my mother. My father, my real father passed right before I was born. But my mother raised me majority on her own, so a lot of who she is, you see in me. If you see me, my personality, my habits, the things that I grew up learning or not learning, the belief system, my approach to church, everything I got from my mother. In a sense, a split image of that lady. And I can see the same thing that Jesus is saying here. The one that speaks through me, the one that guides me, the one that allows me to bless the other people is the Father, and I've told you that He is I and I am Him. He is inside me. I can't do these without, I can't do the things that you've seen me do without the Father. But at the same time, nobody can get to the Father without coming through me. You know, in the same kind of similar situation. If you was hungry and you went down to my mama's house and my mama didn't really know you and you knock on the door and say, hello, Miss Ringer, uh, I'm hungry and I ain't got no food. I ain't got no money. Can I get something to eat? My mother might most likely she would say, you know, there's a convenience store up the street. You know, a little, little gas station right up there. You can go up there, get all you want. Somebody up there could will lead you in the right direction. But now, the same time, if you went to my mother's house with me, I'm her son. And I said, Mama, there's little Ricky. You're a friend of mine. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no food. But he needs some help. My mother would say, well, bring him on in. Let's get the boy something to eat real quick. Let's sit down and talk. We need to pray a little bit for him. Let's see what we can do to change his environment. That's the same way that Jesus is saying, for you to get to the Father, you need to come through me. Because, see, he has a better relationship with the Father. That's the best way for us to get to the table, that blessing table. 
Jesus is saying, come to me, because who you see is the Father. I'm a representation of him. So what he's saying right now is for us the same thing. We want some change right now. We want some guidance right now. We want to get to that place. You know, and it's interesting when, 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 when he says that too. I go to prepare a place for you. You know, a lot of us have been praying for that place. A lot of us have been dreaming about that place. Let me explain that place to you. Some of us have been dreaming about that place of stability, that financial stability. Some of us have been dreaming of that place of just regular comfort or dreaming of that place where I could have some breathing room. Everything isn't so stressed out. Everything isn't so close to the breaking point. Everything, I, I'm looking for this place of comfort, this place of just grace, a place of happiness, a place of satisfaction, a place of contentment. Jesus is saying, I am going to, off to prepare this place for you. And if you follow my ways, if you follow me, follow my teaching, you will get to this destination place. You will get to that place where you're trying to get to. Even in the same text, he says, ask it in my name and I will give it to you. Some of the places I have to prepare for you. Some of these places I have to prepare you for. Some of these places I have to get you ready for. See, you can't, you can't just come into my mama's house any kind of way. There's certain kind of standards to a certain degree. You know, I'm just being honest. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. I ain't gonna say you, it's a sin for you to have your pants sagging, but you ain't gonna go in my mama's house like that. No, partner, no. You know, it, it's one of those things where, when it comes to my father's house and my mama's house, you gotta go in there with a certain kind of prestige. You just can't go in there just regularly. Regularly. That's why we say when you come into the church house, take your hat off. How, they, how, how some of the secular rappers used to say, what was his name, Bird? Man, put some respect on it. You need to put some respect on my father's house, my father's name, my father's son. Because, see, sometimes we might miss the point that a lot of, a lot of what Jesus was saying is the same thing, same thing that we're saying right now during this lockdown period, doing to others as you want others to do unto you, Understanding that Jesus and Christ is in so many other people. It's not just you have the Jesus in me. Because you have the Jesus in me, love the Jesus in you. But for some reason, I don't want to apologize or ask for forgiveness from the Jesus that's in you. I can't, I can't let your, your, the things that you did against me, I can't forgive those. Even though I say I love the Jesus in you. And you love the Jesus in me. I think we might have a problem with that. We need to find that place. We need to find that place of forgiveness. Jesus saying, I'm going to take you there. And we saying, well, where is that? <laughs> we, I'm going to take you to that place where you can start forgiving people. Oh, wait a minute, Jesus. Now, uh, hold on. Observation. How are we supposed to get there? <laughs> I don't see too many people that forgive now. Hold on. You know, they'll say, you know, I, 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 I'm sorry you that special. I'm sorry that you feel that way. But they can't, it's hard to sometimes to say, I'm sorry for what I did. But if I can't forgive my neighbor, if I can't apologize to my neighbor, am I, am I able to apologize to Jesus? Am I able to apologize to the Father? It's important for us to remember that. It's important to know that Jesus and the Father was in the same dwelling. Jesus and the, fa and the Father is still in the same dwelling places. 
those same vessels are still here. Those vessels are still walking around. Understand that Jesus is still walking around us. And even though we might not see it, touch it, taste it, we can feel him. We can feel that presence of Christ, especially when we do something special for that neighbor. When we pass the love for it. When we do something outside of our own will, gratitude. When we do something for somebody else's well-being, that's when we start feeling that love of God. We start feeling that grace again. And we start finding that place that we've been asking God to take us to. A place of comfort. A place of forgiveness. A place where we can say thank you to. A place where we can forgive not only our neighbors, but a place where we can start forgiving ourselves. Forgiving ourselves of our past relationships. Forgiving our, ourselves of our past decisions. Forgiving ourselves, being honest, the way that we've treated our parents. The way that we've treated our mothers. You know, it, it, it's a thing where we can't, we can't pay them back, but the goal is just to let them understand that we know that it wasn't always easy raising us. We always, I've said this before, you know, there's no perfect parents, but the, definitely there's no perfect children either. And we got to say, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. For the mothers that were those good shepherds, those mothers that were the mothers and the fathers, the ones that had to teach their sons how to have a chest plate and respect the breastplate, the mothers that were true warriors, the mothers that were on the battlefield and in the kitchen at the same time, just say thank you for the mothers, even if they are long gone. Thank you because what you see now is who they were. She is I and I am her. My mother and I, Christ and I, the creator. So I thank God for my mother, I thank God for your mother, and I thank God for his grace, which is sufficient. Amen. Oh, 
Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. So we come to our Heavenly Father with all of our troubles and concerns to pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Let us pray. Lord, grant us to know your Son, Jesus Christ, as the way, the truth, and the life and to walk with him on the way that leads to life abundant and life eternal. May the love we express for you on this Sunday morning continue throughout the coming week. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. In celebration of Mother's Day, remind us that we are responsible for caring for each other. We are called to lift up rather than tear down, to support rather than to abandon, to reach out when others have turned away. Give us hearts of love that in all places and all times we may be a witness to the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for countries and leaders and other organizations as they fight this battle against COVID-19. Help all people to understand that only in working together can we surpass the tragedy of this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. God of healing and rest, help those whose hearts are heavy and weighed down by many troubles. Comfort their suffering, ease their distress, and Lord, carry their burdens. We pray for all in need, those known to us personally, those on our prayer list, and those we now name silently in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Thank you, Lord, that you hear us and care for us in all of our needs. Open our eyes that we may see you in your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We have just a few announcements today that we'd like to share. First, we'd like to wish all of our mothers a happy Mother's Day. And this one will be like no other. 
There will probably be no big dinners out, but we still give thanks to all who have shown mothering care. And we also remember all of those who today, Mother's Day might be a little difficult, but today we remember all of our mamas. We'd also like to say a happy birthday to Ryan Knight, who turns 60, who turned six years old on May 8th. And we also say happy birthday to Elena Smith, who is celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday. Again, we'd like for you to remember all of those names you see listed on the screen. Please make sure that you keep all of our brothers and sisters continually lifted up in prayer. If you would like to receive the daily prayer text, please send your cell phone number to the church email address that you will see on the screen. St. Mark is sponsoring a fundraiser offering handmade protective masks. Our cantor, Monica Brooks, is making the mask. So if you would like to order one or more, please contact Monica at the email address on the screen. She can get you all of the details about the available designs and fabric and how to order. In a world facing profound need, our giving may seem insignificant. But we know that in God's hands, even small things become great. So we offer this prayer over our offering for today. Receive these gifts, O oh God, author of every good gift. Make us more and more like Jesus, giving of ourselves to serve you and others. May these gifts become blessings for others as they have been a blessing for us. Amen. Since we are justified by God's grace through faith, let us confirm what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Remember your givings to the church. We need your financial support to keep the ministry of St. Mark going. Not only doing these social distancing time, but even after. Our goal is to spread the good news of Jesus Christ all over, and we need you to help. Remember, a little bit of something beats a whole lot of nothing. You can donate through Cash App, Venmo, your online banking, or you can still mail it to us. We thank you in advance, and God bless. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the blessings of the one who is the way, the truth, and the life be with you in the days to come. Go now in peace and serve the Lord.